U9 on the Sven and S3C on the Lena. So, hopefully, I might have to disconnect as we take a look down bottom. Faith is going to be all right about low health, and we're actually going to see First Blood taken out on Ame. This is very disorienting. S3C needs to watch out mid. Because Lena, very susceptible to getting ganked, especially by the lineup that they have for LGD. And they're going to go the long way around, which should actually be in the hands of Kaka. So they come down close again. Stifling Dagger going to be thrown. They're just going to move on forward, looking for that Frostbite. They get the Dragon Swift as well as the Rolling Blur. They're going to get the Light Strike Array. That's going to follow it up. A two-man stun coming from the Boulder Smash of Kaka. The last word out on maybe. That should be enough to get the kill, but the Blur keeping him alive. This missed chance is too much, and Crystal Maiden's going to die as well as maybe, and Victoria will fall as well. It's a triple kill. So we take a look over. We get a little bit more lag, and this is another ancient stack coming out for U9. He's already topping the net worth at 5,000. We see a smoke come through for Newbie, and no wards on that. And up top, it's going to be Old Eleven, who doesn't sense anybody on the map just yet. He's starting to move back, but I'm not too sure this is in time. He's actually made his way over towards Kaka, which might not be their best move as he's smoked up. There's the rolling boulder. That'll slow him down. He's going to try and get that boulder smash and will. The Light Strike Array is there with the Arcane Curse as well as the last word. He's pretty tanky for the time being. The Gush comes through, but press the attack. will purge that slow and KP's going to go in with the duel. And there's the Magnetize as well as the Laguna Blade. The Global, Global Silence comes in. And they'll get themselves a kill, but they're looking at more. They'll get themselves a nice boulder smash out on three. They're all in trouble now. So they're going to try and run down. Yeah, they'll get themselves one. They'll get themselves two in Victoria. The rolling boulder comes in. They'll get themselves another in Ame. And it's 13 to 4 in favor of Newbie. A huge boulder smash from Kaka on three. So they're not fully committing just yet. Just hitting away at this Roche, making sure nothing comes out of it, but there's the Blink, as well as the Blade Mound, coming in with the Rolling Boulder, as well as the Wukong's command's gonna come in from the Monkey King, Old Eleven, he's very low, he's gonna use that Ravage on, it's gonna hit on a couple on Newbie, but not really doing too much, it's not that effective, the Balance Strike comes in, that won't do much, but now coming in as well with, with the Remnants and the Searing Chain, it's gonna be this Ember Spirit, they're continuing to work, the Boulder Smash comes out on two, there's the Geomagnetic Grip, that's gonna silence up two of these heroes, and now they're looking for more. They've got the God Strength. Searing Chains comes out on both the Ember, uh, the Earth Spirit as well as the Legion Commander. And now the crits, uh, crits galore for maybe as he gets the kill on Earth Spirit. They're going to continue to work on KP. And now coming over is Ame KP very low. Press the attack to get those Searing Chains off. And there it is. Searing Chains again. They'll get themselves another kill. And LGD, they make very good work of this fight. And maybe gets himself a triple kill. And with that, they should be able to grab themselves a Tier 3. Coming over is going to be maybe with that Phantom Strike as well as the Ravage. Here comes the Global Silence. They're going to try and turn it around as the BKB is already there for the Phantom Assassin. And they get the Laguna Blade to take out Victoria already. They try to turn it around on Old Eleven, who might be in a little bit of trouble. The Rolling Boulder comes through, but it's going to be a bit short of maybe. But they've got themselves the Yules, and now they're going to get themselves the Boulder Smash to follow it up. They're going to look to cake take out maybe as they've already got themselves a kill on Victoria as well as Yao. And now the entire side of Newbie is here, and they'll get themselves another... They're continuing to sit nearby, look for this tier 3, keep the attack speed going, and there's the Stifling Dagger, going to try and keep him out, but now they've got the Yules, the Boulder Smash comes in, they're not going to get the kill just yet, but the duel comes in with the Global Silence, and now they get the Laguna Blade out on old 11, they'll get themselves the kill, and he's dead for 63 seconds. So, newbie, Ooh, huge crit coming out on KP. They're going to look to take out this first set of racks. There's the balance strike as well as the BKBs popped around the horn. The Wukong's command is going to follow it up. Maybe going to be a little bit of trouble. He's going to get very low. U9 is going to fall, but so will maybe. And he's already dead for 90 seconds. They're going to get another one on Yao. They're going to look for more in Victoria. And they get the kill. It's a full team wipe for Newbie. And just like that, GG is called. And Newbie will take game one in this best of five. It's a nice draft for Newbie overall. It does work well together. Missing the mark with these rolling boulders. Meanwhile, actually, bottom, they dive way deep. So, old 11 going not too deep here, but he is again protected by Yao. He's got that shadow word for him. Take a look over at U9. He doesn't have that Omni Slash just yet, but the Culling Blade is available for old 11. So, if they can get themselves a nice call, they might be able to take him out as well as the Fatal Bonds. The Coin Blade is there. They get themselves the kill. So now Battle Hunger comes through. SCCC is here. Trap's not going to hit. He's looking for the Coin Blade and not going to land. But now the Shadow Word is out. Not going to keep him alive. And Yao sticking around with the upheaval. Maybe not the best of moves. There's a Rolling Boulder that's going to hit. Kaka going to get credit for that kill on the return. So they do get a kill on the Juggernaut. 
themselves a fourth kill, but here come the big rotations. They're going to get the trap as well as the boulder smash, and then here comes the static storm. Ultimate weapon might be in a little bit of trouble. The light strike array is not going to hit on anybody on the side of newbie. They're going to continue to come in. Here's an RP as well as the chaotic offering to follow it up from LGD. Old 11 still alive. He's going to continue to move on forward. Kaka is going to get that rolling boulder. Yeah, is going to be the next one to die. They'll take out this golem, or at least attempt to. Oh, Boulder Smash comes in. There's the blink with the call. He's going to land onto this Juggernaut. They're going to continue to go in. There's the Static Storm as well as the Kinetic Field. But that's going to be a whiff coming out from Faith. And now they're looking to chase on LGD. If they can get themselves a nice blink call, that should be a return kill. There's the blink with the call. They're going to get the Yules out as well on the TA. Who's going to be able to blink out. And now Faith trying to run away with the Battle Hunger. But this might turn around LGD. They might have found themselves a little bit too far in. There's a big RP coming out on two. But the Chaotic Offering is going to stun that up for just a moment. Ami's going to try and run away. There's the Laguna Blade to pop out that Aegis. But getting glimpsed on back is Ami, and they'll take another kill, and it's a two for an Aegis. They've got the RP ready to go. It's going to be taken out. There's the RP out on Ame, but here comes the Dragon Swift. They're going to get the Yules out onto KP, who might be in a little bit of trouble. They're not going to throw that Chaotic Offering just yet, because they don't have it. The Laguna Blade is going to take out KP just to start this fight out. Under the Static Storm is going to be LGD, but they've already taken out another in the Earth Spirit. So they take out two on Newbie. And they are going to be magnetized up, but... The Laguna Blade finishes off Kaka, and it's a two-for-one trade, and they might look to continue to move on in and get this Roche. I don't think Newbie have enough to really find themselves anything, but they do have that trap to spot it out, and I don't think they're going to risk it. And that is crazy work there for Newbie just to get that Juggernaut out. The Shrine activated at the right time. There's a Blink Call as well as the Whirling Axe is coming through from Ame. They get a nice Light Strike Array on, too. They get the Laguna Blade to clear up Kaka. And now you 9 going to use that Blade Fury to just back off. The BKB is popped by SCCC, and there's the call, but Ame getting very low, as well as the Omni Slash falling through. They're going to pop that Aegis already. Victoria's going to have to try and run out. They get the kill on Old 11. They're going to get another one on. Maybe here it comes. The second light from Ame. He's going to pop that BKB. They get the Impale out onto SCCC. He's not going to survive this onslaught from Ame. So now maybe, just maybe, Ame can get himself another kill onto this Juggernaut, but he's under the Static Storm. No Kinetic Field to lock him in, but he's still silenced up. KP still going in. There's the Whirling Axe. It's not going to be enough to avoid the damage from the score, as well as the Thunder Strike, and they'll get the kill. So they have the Vendetta looking over, maybe just trying to get that attack speed up. There's the Shiva's Guard. The Rolling Boulder is going to be out as the Scotty hitting away from Ame. They've got themselves a nice Impale as well as the Whirling Axes. The Light Strike Array comes out too on the Templar Assassin. They'll get themselves the first kill with the Upheaval. KP is going to be slowed up just enough for them to not go get this kill. They will. We'll get the kill. And now they're actually looking for more. The Yules comes out on both, maybe, as well as Faith. They get the Omni Slash. That'll clear up Victoria. And now under the Static Storm, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. The Whirling Axe is with that blind. He's going to have to deny himself. And now the Chaotic Offering comes out on the entire side of Newbie. They're continuing to work. Ame trying to make something happen with the BKB. Only a couple of seconds left. And now he's going to try and retreat. There's the Kinetic Field. It's going to hit on Yao. And still trying to turn it around is Ame with the Whirling Axes. At least just trying to keep the blind up on them. So they can't take out any more heroes on LGD. But they're going to get themselves Yao. They're going to look for more in Ame. Here it comes. There's the blink in with the impale actually hit on two. The boulder smashes out onto this Nyx. The light strike array is going to stun up this Templar assassin even more. But now silence up is going to be this Nyx assassin. They're going to continue to go in as SCCC is going to try and get that kill. Meanwhile, on the back end, they're looking for one. They're looking for two. They're looking for three. They're going to get a troll, an axe, and a Nyx. And now they're looking for more in maybe. And he's going to be stoned up by the Ags of Kaka. And they'll lock him down just enough and get the kill. So they're going to work on this bottom tier 3, and with that, they'll just call GG. They know they have no chance of winning off this game. Safe lane, Terror Blade, mid Dragonite. Have Morphling come in. There's the Primal Spring. Phase Shift going to avoid the slow. Jingle Master, he hit just once on KP. They're going to look for the Boulder Smash. They are going to get it on Victoria, as well as the Rolling Boulder. They're going to try and get themselves a kill. The Ooze Reorb, the Jingle Master comes out, but it's not going to be enough. So now Ame going to try and turn it around, find himself a kill on one of these heroes on Newbie. Hits away a Kaka at all of any rotations coming out. And they're going to be forced out as Newbie looking for the Primal Spring still going under this tower, looking for the Burrow Strike. There's the Paralyzing Cask, and now U9 hits away at it. The Rolling Boulder comes in as well as the Boulder, boulder Smash. They get the return kill on Old 11, but now it looks as though they're going to give up one in Kaka. U9 getting very low. Can he get a kill on Yao? That's the question. He's going to eat that Tango. He has wave form, moves forward, gets the kill. Here comes the rotation coming through from Faith one more time. So it's very hard at the moment for Newbie to really stutter this push from LGD. They're going to continue in. There it is with the stun as well as the balance strike. They're going to get the rolling boulder, but it's not going to hit as well as the boulder smash. But now under the ulti of Victoria, already taken out is the Legion Commander. So they're going to get this stun as well as the breathe fire out on Kaka. And despite being hit with that magnetize, Ame 
and Ame. He has metamorphosis for quite some time. They're working on this tier 3 tower already. He's going to blink in with the waning rift. Going to delete out those illusions. And now going to get himself a little bit more mana. But they've already lost this tier 3. There's the paralyzing cast coming out on maybe. But now the stun comes on through on this puck. Puck going to get low to about half health. The balance strike follows it up. And now there's both the uh, vertical strike. But not going to hit on KP. He's used that phase shift. They've got the dream coil out on 2. It's going to snap onto this Dragonite. But again, they take this Rax with ease. They don't even lose anybody running away. And really just an inadequate fight from Newbie. So they continue to come on in. There's the Boulder Smash as well as the Magnetized Geomagnetic Grip. But now he's going to be hit by that Boulder Smash. And now there's the Purge from the Legion Commander. He's finally going to get himself a duel on Yao. Can they finish him off? He will get dual damage. Here comes the ulti. It's going to strike on maybe, but the epicenter follows it up as well as a two-man burrow strike. Coming in with a waning rift is going to be KP, but how much can he do? And it doesn't look as though it's going to be much. SCCC is going to be using that arm. He's going to find himself something, but die to the burrow strike. Meanwhile, off screen, Ami's going to get a kill on U9, and that's exactly the opposite of what newbie need. KP the last one alive, and he'll use that waning rift. Take a look over mid. There's the Illusory Orb as well as the Phase Shift. Metamorphosis comes out again from Ame. Let's try and work on this Rax. Burrow Strike comes on through on KP. He's going to be purged up to get that Phase Shift off. There's the Breathe Fire out on Faith. Faith's going to be the first one to fall. The Laguna Blade comes out on KP. They're going to get themselves a second kill. Meanwhile, there are two Dream Coiled up, but they're going to take the Rax anyway. They do use the Stun out onto this Illusion. But again, they're looking for more. They'll get one in Kaka, who's going to use that Magnetize. He's actually still alive. You not in a bit of trouble. He's getting very low. There's the Sunder. And you Sunder right before you get dueled. That's going to be a nice kill for Ame. And that's going to be GG called by newbies. They all get wiped here. Nobody dead on LGD. I'd rather see the Legion Commander off lane. He's hoping to get over. There's the War Cry. He gets positioning. Meanwhile, S3C. As we take a look at U9, as he's still looking for that armlet, not Deso. So, oh boy. Point blank hook is going to miss. Here's the rolling boulder in. Boulder smash comes through with the hook. And that'll be lined up on SCCC. There is going to be the press of the attack. Not going to save his life. So the chaotic offering is going to be dropped down on top of his head. And now they look to turn it around as U9. He's going to start to hit away these heroes. He's going to bring down one in Victoria. They're going to get the duel off on the Shadow Fiend. He's going to get very low. And he's going to stay alive for the time being. He's going to be healed up. And now it looks as though KP is going to be the next one to drop. But Kaka is going to get himself a kill. Ame trying to turn it around with the Sven. He's got himself that God Strength and U9. He's got Rage available. Not going to grab it on Faith, but he continue to walk his direction. Meanwhile, the Hook and the Dismember is going to come out. They've locked down this fan for a little bit longer. There's the Storm Hammer. Fable is going to be used as well as the Telekinesis. Chaotic Offering is going to come out on two, but the Laguna Blade is going to be there to lock down Ame. Ame is going to be taken out early. There's the Infest going to be popped as they're not going to be able to get close with the upheaval slowing them down. And now the Hook comes out on the Golem. Faith's going to die to the Golem, and now it looks as though they might be able to find more. They got themselves one in the Clockwork, and now it looks as though this engagement is over. And there it is, the Rolling Boulder, the Rage is going to stop him from getting sold up. The Open Wounds out on Victoria, they're going to continue to come on forward as LGD. They're going to get the Hook Shot out on U9. Now everybody's here with the Storm Hammer, the Raises, and the Hook's going to save his life. Kaka comes in, saves the life of this Life Stealer, and now they're looking to make them pay. They've got the Telekinesis out on Yao, and there's the Blink in with the Duel up top. They'll get the kill to start off on the Shadow Fiend. They get the Hook, the Dismember comes through, the Chaotic Offering to counter it, but Ame's already low. Ame in a bit of trouble. They've got the Magnetize out on a, on a couple of these heroes on Newbie, but they've already lost Shadow Fiend, they've already lost Sven, and now they're looking to take out this Warlock. They'll get him as well. Yao's dead, and it looks as though Victoria's going to be the next victim. He's going to be able to Rolling Boulder out. So now the Rolling Boulder is going to be out from Victoria. That, ooh. Blink's actually going to be off, but he gets the Blade Mile as well as the Duel. The Chaotic Offering is going to be out on two. They might actually lose the Duel to this Earth Spirit, but now maybe might be in a bit of trouble. They stolen the Chaotic Offering. They get the kill on maybe. And now they're looking for more. They're looking for the kill on Victoria. There's the hook. And it's not Victoria. It's Yao, but oh my god, this Cleave is doing so much with the Magnetize. It's a full and utter team wipe possibly if they get the kill on U9 but U9 hitting away at maybe and Ame as well as having this golem so so much damage they get the kill again on Victoria and U9 and the stolen golem do so much work it was very close there for a second that maybe LGD would finish off newbie as Sven hit away with that god strength as well as the greater cleave but it was not enough to stop U9 and this goal.
in this tier three, but he's got to be careful. And now coming in, there's the upheaval as well as the rolling boater. They've got him locked down for just a moment. Victoria's going to get very low. He's going to be four stepped out. Now the upheaval is slowing them down for just a moment. The hook shot comes out as well as the storm hammer. Maybe too far out. So the chaotic offering not in time. They've taken out maybe for 75 seconds. And LGD, they just have to look from the outside in wondering what can they do. So now maybe he's back up, but Kaka just disrupting this whole motion. Ami's going to try and come back in. There's the telekinesis. They're going to try and make it work. Ami going to try and retreat. He's hitting away at both the Legion Commander as well as the Pudge, who's going to be Cogsley, and Old Eleven's going to be the first one to fall. And now LGD, they're going to lose this span. They're going to lose more in the Earth Spirit. They're looking to take out maybe, and they're going to dive this Rax and dive this well all the way in to take out maybe and get the full team wipe. And with that, GG is called. Newbie are the DPL champion so newbie take this series three to one lgd do manage to take game three but it ends in four as newbie are your victors and take this online dpl